We just got ourselves as lost as we possibly Turn can in yeah. the forest. I think we're lost, okay. Fine, hold on. Whew. Wow, we got a fishing pole made out of a Nerf bullet. Whoa! No. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. We should be able to get this going. We would, we would definitely not survive out here. Axel is about to enter the Tunnel of Doom. We do not know what is in there. Gremlins, giant spiders. Are you okay, Axel? Axel, answer me. There we go, like that. Mm -hmm. Just hold oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ow! <laughs> you ran into a tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Are you okay? <gasps> that tickled me. Okay. Is that a huckleberry? That's huckleberry. A huckleberry. Oh, hey, hey, stop cheating. I'm looking at the huckleberry. Okay, hold on. Just wait, there's no huckleberries right now, so. Let's go through here. Oh. That's the branch. Oh, <laughs> got you twice. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, I see my feet. Yeah, this way. There's a tree right there. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Come on this way. I said, oh, oh. <laughs> Every once in a while, we need to turn around in circles, okay? Ready? Just turn around until we're until we're lost. Okay, turn. Go, just turn, 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 turn. Go this way. Okay. Oh. Let me get up here. Get up there. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, adventure agents, we are we. I'm not lost yet. I, I still think. Oh. oh. There's a tree. I'm not lost yet. I don't think I'm lost yet. We're gonna have to. Keep going. <laughs> Do you feel like you're lost yet? Does this sound kind of crazy to you that we're doing this? That we're actually trying Where to get ourselves lost crazy. in the woods? What if we bumped into a bear? <laughs> what would we do? Oh! Know. Oh! Spin in circles for a while and then just go in a rim. Uh, I don't think I'm lost enough. I need to go a little farther. Let's see. There's a giant rock oh. here. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> okay, you okay? Wait, let me show them what happened. What? What happened? Oh! <laughs> okay, you can just get up in here. <laughs> uh, they want to get up in there with you. <laughs> Don't cheat. So we are trying to, to get ourselves lost in the woods so we can make it out alive, Adventure Agent. So we can see if we have what it takes. Oh! So we can see oh. if we have what it takes to get out of a forest alive if we get lost. The problem is that we're not very good at getting ourselves lost. So we're gonna have to get, get better at that. <laughs> uh, I wish Agent Rex was here. So should we do this again with Agent Rex? Yeah. I All think right. we're lost enough. Let's go a little farther. Let's make sure we're so lost that there's just no chance of us ever finding our way back unless we're super good at this. Okay, let's see. I don't, there's nothing in front of us. Oh! Except for that. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> okay. Oh! Ah! <laughs> so I'm starting to forget where exactly the direction we came from is. So that's that a good way, sign. That it's way. a good sign. It means we're lost no, almost. No. That way? Mm -hmm. Ah, I don't know. Okay, so let's go on for a few more minutes to make absolutely sure we're lost. Now, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Don't take it off. Now what we got to do is we got to make it to where we can't see anything, okay? And then we got to walk just a little bit farther, okay? This is the real dangerous part, okay? You can't see anything? Nope. Are you sure? Here, you get on my back for just a second, okay? Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna walk a little farther without being able to see anything. I, ow, ow, I found a way around, ow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get lost, you guys. We're gonna get so lost. Oh, okay, okay, I think I'm done. Now we need to turn around in a bunch of circles, okay? Turn around, 
Turn, turn, turn. Good to know. Okay. Okay, are we lost? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're lost. Okay. Fine, hold on. Whew! What is up, adventure agents? We just got ourselves as lost as we possibly can in the forest. Hey, Daddy, guess what? What? We only went from that stump to here. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> I think I was trying to go over here and get past this branch right there. Look at that thing. That thing, oh, it's good that we didn't fall on this. It's got these jagged spikes in there. I think we came from yeah, that, either that, that direction direct or that direction or that direction. Yeah, Somewhere yeah, that, no, over there, I think. Up. So what we're sword. doing is we're trying to train ourselves to be tough oh, in a survival situation where we get lost in the woods and want to know that we have what it takes to get back to civilization. Oh. What is that? It's just some kind of growth. Okay, so in a survival situation where you're lost in the woods, the first thing you need to do is remain calm and keep your wits about you. And you need to make a plan, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need to make a plan. Usually the plan is start going in one direction and don't veer off don't weave and wind just go straight in that direction see where that takes you and then regroup a little bit later okay i wonder if this mushroom is edible raw i don't think so don't eat any mushrooms oh thing number two don't eat mushrooms you find in the wild so you say you remember that stump right there yep you said you do okay so agent pikachu says he remembers the stump whoa right here so let's make camp real quick at this yeah, stump I we did? Okay, all right. Oh, and there was a big log right there. I think we walked over that log. Oh, yeah. No, we weren't going there. Oh my goodness, that. Hey, look, there's a creek down there. Dude. Okay, so what do we do? Because if you're lost in the woods, you gotta have some food. So we brought these survival packs along. Let's see what's in our survival packs first, okay? So. I don't have mine. Yeah, you do. It's on your back. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what mystery items are in our survival pack. I have our escape rope there. I've got a jacket here. I've got some water. I've got an awesome knife here. This is really cool. Definitely gonna need this. Hands up. Why do you have a Nerf gun? I just ran away from it. How is that gonna help us survive? Hands up. <laughs> Don't shoot. Ah, Don't shoot. doesn't work. <laughs> You've got a broken Nerf, ow! <laughs> he shot me. Okay, don't shoot at your friends. Yeah. Don't shoot your friends no, on the trail. Rule number one, friend. don't shoot your friends on the trail. No, a uh, pot. Oh, a pot? Wait, yeah. Daddy, what can we, we, do? we could boil we could, water. No, we could boil water and cut up a fish and put some <gasps> fish meat in there and make fish stew. Dude, okay, well, there's a creek down there. Maybe we could get some fish. Oh, look, I've got a fishing reel. No fishing pole, just half of a fishing pole. Pomegranate. How's that gonna help us? <laughs> I don't know. We have fishing this tackle, pomegranate stuff. Oh, cattail. This is extremely flammable. Attach the fishing cattail. pole to a stick. Yes. <gasps> That's a great idea. We could attach a fishing pole to a stick. Okay, since we don't have a fishing rod, we can improvise. That's what you gotta do when you're trying to survive. You gotta improvise. We have a knife, another knife. Ah, we have a fire starting deal another here. Another knife. Oh, dude, we have a, a bushcrafting knife and here. And. Nice, Bear Girls Gerber. Uh, oh, we got a whistle. So check this out. This is sweet. I got this knife right back here. Put it in this case, cool. Take it out, nobody can even see I have it. See, look, you wouldn't even know, and then I'm like, hey, 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 All right, let's see what else we got in this pack here. Oh, we got another fishing rod. Ah! Oh no. Oh, Axel's sneaky, he got my knife. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a beast. Whoa! Look at that. Isn't that cool? That thing can really hack. Wait, let's see if we can chop this in one hit. Oh, that's a clean cut, look. Dude, that is clean all the way through. Okay, so we are trying to find our way back. Axel says that we definitely didn't come this way, and I think he's right because I do not remember climbing up something that steep. We climbed up, but it wasn't that steep. So I think it was along that area over there. We're gonna hike along for just a little bit. Whenever you're in a survival situation, you try to find your way back, but you also need to make sure that you're prepared in case you need to eat or get water and there's a creek down there and a creek is a great place to get food and water if you need to. We, oh, Axel this says, is a landmark. Oh, whoa, that is a good landmark. Okay, I will remember this. You'll remember this? It has a stripe up it. A okay, stripe. yeah, uh-huh. I will remember this for sure right here. Yep. And this! Oh, dude, look at this. Look at these look things. At right there, Jagged deals coming out. These are like, there. oh, 
It looks like some kind of... Look at that, Daddy. Look, hmm. that goes up into the log. Wow, this is an old Douglas fir here. Whoa, whoa. Um, this is great for firewood. In fact, there's something special in some of these firs down towards the bottom. They have what's called fatwood. Fatwood is like super flammable. Hey, you know those fire sticks that we have? Yeah, really? That is in these firs. You can find it. So maybe we'll look for some fatwood and uh, see if it'll help us to make a fire if we need to make a fire later. Fire is very important for survival. Oh, <gasps> whoa! It has a shelter and everything. Oh, wow. Okay, so we stumbled upon this old campsite here. They've got an old campfire. There's logs all around here for sitting on. Okay, civilization maybe. People have been here. Oh, dude. Branches for making a shelter. Hey, let's go ahead and build a quick shelter real quick, okay? Okay, so this would be a great shelter if we had a lot more branches to put on top. It would be a great shelter to keep us warm and out of the rain. We'd have to do a lot more work on it, though. That's pretty sweet. Those branches are bowed, so it gives you a nice little concave there. Okay. Let's make a fire. Make a fire, but we don't have anything to cook on it yet. And we don't want to leave a fire running here. If we made a fire to cook fish or boil water, we'd want to do it down by the creek. Let's keep going. Oh, look, there's another fire right here. Okay, so we're definitely getting close to civilization here. Okay, so Axel just found something here. This is charcoal. This is great for making a fire. It's really good stuff. You need to keep this on hand. So let's keep some charcoal with us. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. So we, we should collect some of this. Okay, here in the Pacific Northwest, stuff that's all along the ground right now, it's super wet. The driest stuff you can find is usually stuff that's hanging up in the air. That's That would have dried a lot quicker. So let's get some of this kindling right here. If we start a fire, it would be really helpful to have some of this. So let's stuff this in Axel's survival pack here, okay? I think that'll be good enough. Stuff and then that here, down in there. Here, this will be perfect. All right, let's keep going. We searched around for a little bit, and there's a creek down there. We decided to head down and see if we can figure out how to uh, use sticks to make a fishing pole, okay? Out of those fishing uh, reels that we have. But we gotta be really careful going down here. I have my escape rope, but we may not need it because it's, it's actually, there's a lot of uh, areas where you can grip on on the way down. Just be careful, okay? Whoa. Oh yes, there's a trail. Okay, this is good, this is good. We found a trail. Now there's normally trails alongside water because see, for all the time really, lots of life forms around water and people in communities, they like to be around water. So if you're around a creek and water, chances are there's gonna be a trail somewhere close by to give them access to go fishing there. This has always been the case. And look at that. Sure enough, there is a trail there. The problem with trails are, you don't know which way to go on them though. They can go for miles and miles. This looks like... This does look like some kind of trail. Maybe this is a game trail. Or a trail that hasn't been used in a long time. Maybe. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 That was close. I didn't do that one. That was a big mistake. I should not have done that. Oh. Oh, uh, I wouldn't do it, because look, look. See, I tripped on this root right here. I almost twisted my ankle pretty bad there. That's another thing in a survival situation, you do not want to get hurt. You want to make whoa, absolutely whoa. sure you do everything you can to keep from getting hurt. That's the key to surviving, not getting injured, so you can make your way out. So that's one of the number one rules for survival. Don't do anything too crazy. It'll increase your likelihood of surviving by a lot, yep. Like, don't eat something if you don't know what it is, right? We know that this is wood soil right here. Yep, good stuff. Mm. Got vitamin C and... Let's go mm. down that one. That looks like a pretty easy thing okay. except for that drop. That's a good path down? Yeah, lower me down. Okay, you want to follow the trail or you want to go down? Let's go down. down. I say we go down too. You know, we're going to take a shortcut to the creek. We could follow the trail and find civilization. We could go that way or that way, but we don't know where it'll lead us. Well, I for sure goes to the You truck. think so? Yeah. Okay, well we remember that. Axel says that way leads back to the truck. Okay, we don't know that for sure, but it's a good idea oh, to remember, whoa, wow. 
where the trail is. You okay? I just got a really bad stab. A stick went a really ah, sharp. We got to be careful. Let's take it easy. Let's let's go kind of slow, okay? Let's not go too fast. <gasps> oh, check it out. There's fiddlehead fern here. This Dang, is we great. Put pine in the... Let's collect some of these. Put this fiddlehead in my pocket here. Axel, check this out. See those spikes? Yikes. Oh man, you would not want to accidentally grab that for stability. Boom. That is a nasty looking plant there. So you see how Axel's walking like this? That is how you walk on a log like this. See? Watch, you step right here on the edge and whoo, you slip right off. You're doing it right. You're like stepping this. in the middle and you're turning your toe for balance that way. That's a great idea like this. for survival here. Like this, don't yep. do. Unless there's a, like, I'm Unless there's a tree there to save you. <laughs> All right. So we made it to this creek. Oh my goodness, this thing is gigantic. And beautiful. I'll bet you there are some trout in this creek. So we got these fishing reels here. We don't have a fishing rod, right? This one right here and that one right there. Axel has his Bear Grylls bush packing knife here. Two quick blows means help. All right, two quick blows like that means help, okay? In case we get separated. So, so what we need is some fishing rods, right? We need to find some kind of branches around here that, that are good and straight for fishing rods. Thin enough too. Let's go find us some fishing rods. Ah, okay, here we go. Here in the Pacific Northwest, it can be difficult sometimes to find straight timber, but I found something great here. This is called a vine maple. It's a maple tree that kind of grows like a vine sometimes grow along the ground. See this? It's alive. It's budding, but it is growing along the ground for about like 30 feet. Pretty awesome. I think I can get some really good straight wood for my fishing rod from this. Oh, I hear Axley's blowing the whistle. Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> okay, so look what I found. Dude, this is from a maple, a big leaf maple, and these two are from vine maples. They're pretty straight. Did you find anything? Nope. Ah, uh, okay, well, you can have one of mine, okay? Come on, let's go back to the camp. Okay. Oh, all right, so here we go. We've got something to put our fishing rods on. Check that out, huh? Yeah, now we just need something to fasten it on there with. Maybe some tape, maybe some cordage. Ah, oh, we got some roots around here. What do you think? Think that'll work? Do you see it? All right, we need to find a way to attach it to the pole, okay? Wait, to, if we go in the water, we should take our shoes off and our socks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we don't like. Right, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we don't get really wet. You don't want to get your shoes or your socks wet in a survival situation. You want to keep your clothes as dry as possible. So if you're gonna get wet, you get your bare skin wet, that'll dry off really quickly. Your clothes takes a long time to dry off. All right, Axel, so we are going to attach the rod right here. So what I need you to do is I need you to kind of carve out a flat spot right there. So hack here, hack here, and then slice across, okay? Right about there. There you go. Nice, that's good, that's probably good. Now do another one right there. There you go. Nice. Now, you need to cut it that way. So, don't cut towards yourself with a knife. Cut away from yourself. There you go. Just like that. He's carving out a nice flat spot right there for that reel to sit. Look at that. We've got this little groove cut out so we can do our fishing rod here. I've got a little bit of tape. It's always good to have a little bit of duct tape on you for emergency situations in your survival pack. Mm, this is a Gorilla duct tape. There you go, wrap it around, and then pull tight. There you go. Now that it's on good, we can put some more tape on there. 
Okay, so we got our rod and our reel here, but what else does a fishing pole have? String. Yeah, well the string's inside and of hook. there. But what else does it have? Hook. Hooks, yeah. But but where does the string go? Along what? The rod. Yeah. So on a fishing pole, you have these little eye holes like this that go around it that the string has to go through, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now if this was calm water, deep pools, we could just sit and let the water, the, the deal drop into the water. But it's easier to have a pole here because we need to cast it out to the other side. So we need to find some kind of material here. We're improvising. That's what survival is all about. You improvise with what you got. Uh, hollow stick. Hollow stick, yeah, a hollow stick. Yes, he's right. What would be a hollow stick around here? What kind of plant do we know around here that has a hollow core in it? Milkweed. But ah, milkweed, yeah. What else? What do we have in our packs? Our survival packs that has a hollow core. Let's see what we got in our survival packs. Nah, a carrot. Can't use that. A carrot. a carrot? Axel says a carrot. Carrot doesn't have a hollow core. But I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? Can you look at my gun? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A bullet! Yes! Look at that! That's hollow in the core. Who would have thought we could use the Nerf gun? Wow, so we just taped that on there. Yeah, just pull the head of the Nerf dart. Here, fishy fishy. And look at that, dude. Okay, so we need to cut it, because we need a few of these. We need at least two of them. So let's yeah. cut it into a few pieces. Cut through. Like there that. we go, perfect, look at that, nice. Okay, cut me uh, two more of those. I need one for my rod. Three more. And there we go. Careful, don't cut your leg. I wouldn't cut on your leg like that. I think, how many we got? We got four? So when we tape it on, we want to make sure that it runs straight from here to there, okay? Okay, we want it at the very tip. I don't want it getting in the way of the rod. There we go. There you go, right on there. Right at the very tip. Now don't squish it. That's it. Alright, look at that. Nice, that's perfect. We just need one more in the middle. All right, now feed the fishing line through there. Dude, oh, oh. <gasps> wow, we got a fishing pole made out of a Nerf bullet. All right, so we are gonna try out our fishing pole, ready? Cast it. Oh, dude, it works. Is that kind of heavy? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this rod is kind of heavy. I think maybe I should make you one with a skinnier and I'll use this one, okay? Oh. <laughs> Is that one lighter? Yeah. Yeah. Light. Yeah, so I made another pole for Axel. It's way lighter than this one. I'll use this one right here. <laughs> There's fish? Yeah. Axel says he sees some fish. We're trying to cross this other creek that runs into that creek and Axel says he sees some fish. Okay, so we need to cross this right here. But we don't want to get our feet wet. You don't want to get your feet wet and you're in a survival situation. I you don't know. have to. You made it? Axel made it across. Okay, here. Take your fishing pole. All right. Take, take my fishing pole. Okay. Ooh, oh. okay. From here. All right. Oh, my fish pull. All right, I'm gonna jump across here. Oh, oh, whoa. There you go. Grab this branch. Got it? Oh, you got it? Doing good. Slippery. Oh, whoa. <laughs> nice job. Woo, we made it. There's a good spot. There we go. What we are looking for is a great spot for trout. Now, we're trying to find a calm area of water the trout might be sitting and congregating. Hey, there's a nice little spot right there. You see that? Yeah, try that. 
part out. Try right up underneath there. Okay, so that spot didn't work out, but here is a perfect calm spot right here. Whoa. Axel. Dude, check this out. Oh, try up in there. Look at that. Up in that pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are stopping and taking a break to eat some Nick sticks. Always good sticks. to have this on survival. Really? I just ate pomegranate sticks. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, Nick, uh, grass fed beef jerky with fat is one of the best things, the most nutritionally packed snacks you can have uh, in case of emergency. It's so great to keep these things on you. I keep them on me all the time. Thank you, Nick Sticks, for fueling the adventurer's adventures. Mm. But what I really whoa, want whoa, whoa. is some rainbow trout. And I want to get unlost and get out of here. Watch. <laughs> You're just eating the whole thing. <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> okay, so we came up above the water over here. There is this crazy, creepy log tunnel thing. That is so cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. It looks like some gigantic monster about to swallow us up. All right, can you see anything? Nope. Okay, we're gonna do a crawl into the dark yeah. forest of doom hole challenge. We do not know what is in there. Gremdolins, giant spiders. You might get swallowed up. Are you sure you wanna do this? <laughs> Axel is about to enter the Tunnel of Doom. If you survive, I promise I'll go in, okay? Oh my gosh, that is the freakiest thing. It's gonna swallow him whole. Oh. Ah! Oh That's legit kind of freaky. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. Axel's pretty brave. You are brave, my friend. Very brave. Are you okay? I don't, e I can't even see you. He's gone. I can't even see you! It's cool? Yeah. Is there anything biting you? Oh no. That is kind of creepy. I mean, I don't know. It's dark. It looks like a giant throat just swallowed Axel. That's what it looks like to me. How much farther can you go? Come out! Hurry, get out of there! What are you doing? Axel? Axel, answer me! Oh, okay, I see him, I see him. He's right there. <laughs> come out, come out. Oh my gosh, wow. You are brave. You are a brave soul. Now hey. can I take my blindfold off? Yeah, you, whoa, 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 okay, okay, whoa, hold on. Dude, Agent Rex would be super proud. Something's biting my pants! <laughs> Are you serious? I'm just joking. Okay, all right, so I have to do it now. I told him if he came out and survived that I have to do it. All right, I'm going in, Axel. Okay, since Axel went in, I gotta go in. And since I gotta go in, you gotta go in with me, okay? So here we go, come on. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, oh man, it's really dark in here. <sighs> okay, all right. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's getting really narrow. Okay, how deep did you go, Axel? Axel? I don't know. Oh, okay, something just touched my face. Some, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> oh, there's a hole! Wow, there is a hole right there. Axel just scared me through the hole. I'm coming out now. I am coming out now. That was creepy. That was so creepy. That is crazy. There's a hole over here? He didn't answer me. <laughs> Get back here. Oh, prankster. There's a hole. Oh, that is so creepy. Axel just stuck his hand right here and grabbed me. Where are you? Here he is. <laughs> hey, Axel. Hey, we should pull that prank on Darian. We should pull that prank on Agent Rex. I don't think he'd like that very much. Okay, so let's go fishing now. Come on, let's no, go. No, you have to get me first. Okay, so the challenge is to get him now. 
<laughs> got him! <laughs> oh, got him! <laughs> Ow, my butt! Oh, are you okay? Help me up! <laughs> Alright, I got you Here. now. Okay, so we're gonna play survival hide and seek now, okay? Um, this is a perfect place for hide and seek. I'm gonna count to 20. Ready? One, two! 19, 20. Ready or not? Here I come. You go in there? No, he didn't go in there. There he go. Where did he go? Ah, back where I started. I can't find him. I give up. Where are you? Come out. Axel. I'm starting to get worried. Axel? Either he's hidden really well or he's lost. I give up. You win. Come out. I hear him. I hear him. Oh my goodness. Dude. Yeah, you walked right next to me. What? Where? Yep. Show, show me where you hid. That Let's was great. You were like, kind of out here. Yeah? I was where were right? you? No. Yep. Oh my gosh. This is what I did. Wow. I did. I ran right by there. Dude, <laughs> that was a good hide spot. Survival skills, hiding, being able to hide and stay I hidden. Didn't even that will definitely help you like, survive. I hey, whose hat is that? That's weird. Somebody just left their hat there. Like, strange. Yeah, I was running by. Somebody just left their hat there. And I almost ran into this, and I was like, "Whoa, sorry." Oh, I thought you it was you a thought person. it was a person? <laughs> we got to get no, a move on. The sun is starting to set. You need to hide. Okay. All right. We can practice one more game. Hide and seek. I'm gonna hide this time. You found me? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, because you gunk out. Oh, yeah. That's true. I gave myself away. <gasps> it was worth it because I wanted to scare you. <laughs> that just carves it off. This knife is a beast. So what we're getting here is what I hope is fat wood. This stuff should light really easily. This is a Douglas fir here. It's dead. Yep, it's dead. Put this in my pocket here. Save that for later. Smell good? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this is the, the resin. Alright. Alright everyone. We're gonna get on our way. See if we can catch some fish, make a fire, find our way back to civilization. All right, so we found a trail. This is great. This is gonna make it so much easier to find our way back. All right, let's hit the trail.
So we found a neat little fishing spot right there. Oh, whoa, <laughs> good throw. An axle needs to cross here, so I'm gonna make a bridge. Take my hand, careful. There you go. And what? Nice. Whoa. This is the last spot we're gonna fish. This and that little pond right there. If we don't catch anything here, it's getting dark. We're gonna Where have to here? get back to the truck, which by our calculations is straight up that hill. I hope, maybe we made the wrong decision. Maybe we shouldn't have fished. Maybe we shouldn't have played hide and seek. Maybe we should have just gone straight there. I hope we make it back to the truck. You know, I didn't try right there. Maybe there's something right there. Like does this maybe right there? Yeah. Where where did you fish? I I cast over there a couple times. Try over there. Try see where that rock is on that side. Alright. I'm gonna try one more cast. One more cast each, okay? Okay, so no luck over there. I'm gonna try one more cast. One more cast. Oh, there you go. Good cast. Good cast. All right, so we got all this dry stuff right here, right? This is cattail right here. If you can see, it's just spreading out, but uh, it's the cattail. You can find these near uh, ponds and marshes. It is very, very flammable. Whoa! Isn't that cool? <laughs> Has it already burned out? Mm -hmm. I think so. So the best thing to do is just to get it as frayed up as possible. Alright, give it a go, bro. Never actually tried this before, so... Whoa! Okay, put that on. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but work. Daddy, it's... There's still some left. <laughs> I don't think that we're going to be able to get any more light here. <laughs> I think it burned up. Here, fluff it up. Let's see if I try it again. Ready? All right, now try it. Oh! oh. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Uh. No. Nope. Wah, wah. We're not going to Yeah, tire. it's tough. We would have to have some really, really good tender for that to work. Okay, so I have a lot more cattail here. See? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go all out. We're going to use all of our cattail. We're just going to make a gigantic, fluffy, cattaily mess here and hope it lights on fire. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is it working? Catching! Oh, it is catching, it's catching. Okay, uh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, I think it is catching. Oh, shake it around. There you go, look at that. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, I think, I think we got something going on here. Come on. No. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, oh, we got something here. Okay, feed that one, feed that. Here, put some sticks on there. Wow, this is sad. This is really sad. What? Whoa. This is so sad. Come Light! Oh, we got a flame! Feed it. We should be able to get this going. We would, we would definitely not survive out here. Hopefully we find the truck, because we're goners if we don't. <laughs> whoa. Oh! Lift it up! You just lift it up. Whoa! 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 whoa. 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 No, oh, no. wow, when you shake it around, it just... Put it on! Okay, go, go, go. Ah, come on, something's gonna catch. Nothing. Nothing's gonna Wait. catch. Everything is so moist around here. All the sticks are like super moist, so it's Can hard. I have the rope? Try the rope. Rope. We have this. Fluff it all up. Right here. Oh, oh, oh careful. Oh. Watch it. This is a rope here. And we are gonna try to use the rope. All right, put sticks on the rope. They're catching here. Put more sticks on, put more sticks on. <gasps> oh, put more sticks on. Oh my gosh, we got it, 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 we got it. Put it on, put it on, put sticks on, put sticks on. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Put sticks on. Ah. 
<gasps> we did it. We did it. That that it wasn't even the the fire rope that did it. Daddy, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Here. <laughs> we got a fire. I know, dude. How at the last second? Right. Well, we haven't found our way to our truck yet. We <clears throat> never caught any fish. Um, wouldn't it be nice if we had fish to cook on this fire? Mm -hmm. Ah, that would be so cool. Where's Fiddlehead? Oh yeah, Fiddlehead. All right, so let's roast a little bit of this Fiddlehead fern on the fire. I got some And then too. it's getting dark. We gotta find our way okay, back. Okay, I got some too. You do? Yeah. Sweet. All right, Axel. Let's make some Fiddlehead soup. Put in. Okay. Fiddlehead stew. Boy, oh, that looks good. There it is, sizzling. Hey. All right, I think our soup is ready. All right, we don't have a spoon. We just have to eat. Horrible. Eat it with by a that stick. Matter. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, look, we do. We do have a spoon. <laughs> All right. Try it. All right. Let's get some soup there. Oh. <laughs> it's probably steaming hot. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Can I try it? Mm. Mm. Can I try it? Mm. Not three. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, this this mm. spoon. Mm. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Just blow on it. Burn my teeth. Uh oh. I'm burning teeth. <laughs> Pretty good? Mm. Yeah. Hey, nothing like some fiddle head fern to get our spirits back up. And now we're gonna head into the deep dark woods. Oh boy. This is getting kind of creepier by the minute. <laughs> we better hurry, Axel. We better hurry. Oh yeah, look, that's boiling good now. Yeah, that's Ooh. creek water. You oh. didn't want to drink that. Oh daddy. Until it's boiling. You warm that's in your feet. Warm. Axel got water all up in his feet. So Axel, yeah. has this been a pretty cool experience? A pretty wet one. A pretty wet experience, yeah. As long as we make it home, it'll be cool, right? <laughs> All right, have a sip of Fiddlehead soup. It'll warm your bones. Sure, it's not. It's not too hot, you can grab it. Just grab it. I cooled it off. Is that good? Weird. That's weird, yeah. Did you taste it? I did, it's nice and warm though. Keeps you warm, huh? Warms your insides, yeah! <laughs> we don't want to leave a trace here, so I'm going to bury Why these coals. We just don't want to take a chance of a forest fire. It's pretty wet we right now. We have so much cattails left. I know. Right. It's going to oh. bury those coals right there. We have some wood sorrel. That's good. We're making our way through, and just a lot of woods here. Coming, bro? The woods can seem like a very spooky place at night. But, technically speaking, even though it seems spooky, it's really a lot safer place than, say, the city at night, for instance. There you go, whoa! <laughs> okay, so if we keep our wits about us, we'll stay safe and we'll get back. There you go. Okay, so I'm hoping there's gonna be a road up here somewhere. Definitely a bad idea in a survival situation like this to mess around with fishing like that and playing hide and seek. <laughs> Somebody left a glove here in the middle of nowhere. That's strange. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. I don't wanna be leaving gloves laying around in the middle of the forest. That's littering. There's one of those crazy... What? Where? Right there. Marker? Oh, this is one of those gigantic trees. Maybe this is the same one. Hey, maybe we're onto something. 
Axel's saying we're going the wrong way. I don't know that that's the same spot. No, I remember those two trees. Uh, can we be going in circles? Look! <laughs> Check it out! Oh, there's a trail! Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay, we found a trail. What does it say? What does it say? Uh, Sioux Trail 130 miles? Road. Toilet paper? Oh, <laughs> this is how to use the bathroom. <laughs> Road, nine miles? How can that be? Another sign. Oh, there's another sign. Okay, okay. I think we found something. The bridge. We're not looking for a bridge. No. What is this? Close to all motorized vehicles. It's another sign. Another sign. Oh, okay. This is a parking area. I think we made it. I think we made it. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Oh my goodness. I think we're here. I think we're here. I think we're here. Yes. This is our truck. We made it out alive. Axel. Dude. Give me five, bro. We made it out alive. I'm super stoked. I am proud of us. I was getting kind of worried there. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, we have had a crazy time today, right, bro? We are so glad that you have joined us for this epic survival adventure. You know, I think we would have found the truck a lot sooner had we just kept looking for the truck instead of going fishing, right? But that was kind of my idea. That was kind of a bad idea. We should have just kept looking for the truck. Yeah, we learned our lesson. Pomegranate. Ooh, pomegranate, yummy. Mm-hmm. You wish Agent Rex Darian could have been here? I do too. I think we would have had a lot more fun. Yeah, Agent Rex right now, he is doing some very important business. He is actually in California babysitting a pig. <laughs> yeah, big stuff, big stuff for Agent Rex. He, it's a super important the ring the doorbell. pig mission that he is on right now. And so we said that we would not continue to try to solve the D.B. Cooper case until we, he gets back. And so um, I don't know if he'll be back by the next episode, but be looking forward to whatever it is for the next episode. He may not be in it. We may not be looking for D.B. Cooper stuff. But we're going to do some super epic stuff. Remember, we love you. We think you are so awesome. And remember, life is an adventure. I want to do a challenge. Key. What kind of challenge? Who can do <laughs> a food eating challenge? Yeah. That sounds like fun. A fruit yeah. eating challenge. A fruit eating challenge. A Axel, pomegranate eating challenge. Axel would win. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.